When will he appear? He will appear after Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu was salam. The three years preceding his appearance, three years before he is to appear, there will be a famine on the earth. Inna bayna yadayhi thalathu sani, thalathu sani, sanatun tumsiku s-sama'u fiha thulatha qatriha wal ardu thulatha nabatiha. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that three years before he appears there will be a famine. In the first year, the heaven, there will be a third less rain in comparison with the years before. And the earth, there will be a third less crops in comparison with the years before. In the second year, the heaven will withhold two thirds of its rain and the earth two thirds of its crops. In the third year, the heaven will withhold all of its rain and the earth all of its crops. There will not be a single drop of rain on the earth and there will not be a single crop. Thus, the majority of the animals will die and many people will also die. Meanwhile, the Muslim army will, just, will have just conquered Constantinople. They'll be on the verge of sharing the spoils of war between them. Whilst all of a sudden they will hear that the Dajjal has come out. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the Dajjal extraordinary powers. Some of his fitnas, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this hadith of Nawasim al Sam'an radiallahu ta'ala an, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned some of his fitnas. فَيَأْتِ أَلَى الْقَوْمِ فَيَدْعُوهُمْ فَيُؤْمِنُونَ بِهِ فَيَسْتَجِيبُونَ لَهِ He will come to a group of people and he will call them towards a false religion. He will tell these people to call him God, to call him Allah, to call him the Creator, their Lord. And these people will believe in him. These people will call him Allah. They will call him their Lord. Because these people have believed in him. He will order the sky to pour rain. And the sky will pour rain. He will order the earth to grow crops. And on the spot, the earth will grow crops. These people that have believed in him, their pasturing animals will graze on this land. And these animals will return to him in the evening with their humps very high and their udders very large and their flanks full. He will come to a group of people. He will tell these people to call him Allah. But these people will be the true believers and these people will reject him and they will not call him Allah they will not call him their God they will not call him their creator but the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says when these people the true believers have rejected him when these people wake up in the morning laysa fi aydihim shay'un min amwalihim these people will be penniless their property is gone their animals died they will not have a single thing left with it inside the hands. This is why his fitna is the biggest fitna. The believers, the true believers who reject him will have to suffer hardships. They will have to face and suffer difficulty and bear this difficulty. But the believers, the wrong believers, the, be the ones that believe in Dajjal as their creator, they will live a life of luxury for a short while. 